Hi everyone, it's Dr. T and I just wanted to check in at the end of the day and send some support for all of you uh, regarding the number one way to boost your immune system. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions every day and we're working with our clients on all of their emotional strengthening and it's really amazing to hear about all of the content that everybody's taking in. And when you think about it, at this point in our lives, it's probably the biggest thing, it is the biggest thing that any of us have ever needed to process, right? So we're processing something that's happening, uh, we're integrating the reality of it, and then perhaps more than ever, human beings are now processing online and processing all kinds of information and before this virus people were already in an overprocessed state right where we were already the most overprocessed nation and the most over stimulated uh cohort in human history and so now when you take this up a notch most of us were already you know doing a lot every every given day of our lives and when you add this entire new reality and all of the pieces that are evolving every day this is a lot for a person to process right and so the number one way to boost our immune system is to do intentional intake of input and if we're doing a lot of reactive intake and reactive processing, then the thing is, all of that overstimulation will just keep leading to more and more input that is not necessarily intentional. And when we become overprocessed, overstimulated, which by the way, just keeps leading to more, right? Ultimately, stimulation, more stimulation, reaction, chain reaction. And this is really, really taxing for the per for each of us as individuals. And what happens with the person is that their entire immune system and their other systems, right? Their limbic system that's processing all their emotions, their nervous system, their entire system is processing and processing and processing. And when you overprocess your system, then you weaken it. And this is why intentional intake and intentional activity, of course, is the key to success in all things. And especially now at this moment that is so critical that everyone remain emotionally healthy, cognitively healthy, behaviorally healthy, and strategically healthy and creative in what it is that we're doing. Meaning we're creating outcomes not just experiencing unintentional issues and unintentional outcomes that are just happening from being reactive. So I really wanted to speak to tonight this uh, overstimulation and overprocessing that can just weaken the immune system. And the number one way to strengthen your immune system is the same way to strengthen your entire system, which is to know the difference between whether you're in reactivity or whether you're in intentionality. You're either in one or the other. And when you're in intentionality, that helps you boost your immune system. And when you're in reactivity, it really taxes your immune system and your whole system of the cell. And that puts people in a vulnerable state. And right now we need to be really, really intentional in order to keep ourselves strong and to keep ourselves creative in what it is that we're doing. So as I get all of these questions, I'm going to continue to share with you all things that I know that can build your emotional strength at this time. If this is helpful for you, please share this with other people so that they're really watching their, uh, what they're taking in and having an intention for what it is that they're getting as input, putting it in here as input and choosing what they're gonna do with it rather than just stacking up and stacking up all kinds of input and burdening the immune system, which is a process that is no different than if we were just taking in all kinds of things. If we're taking in anything, we're taking in 
the environment. Uh, it's no different. This human system processes everything, whether it's food or drink or what's in the atmosphere, chemically, uh, energetically, all of it is being processed by the human system. And it's really, really essential to be intentional with all of that. So um, again, if this helps you, please share this with the people in your network. And if any of you are wondering about your own emotional system and what's going on there, you can take our emotional sensitivity assessment by going to drtracyinc.com. And there's lots of great resources there. And in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'm gonna jump on as often as possible in between working with clients in our emotional training programs and give you uh, as much support as I possibly can during this time. All right, everyone, have a good rest of the evening. Take care.